Hello everybody, Pause Life Gaming here, and welcome to Hype Swap. Yes, I know this game came out a while ago, and the hype has died down. I'm a little bit late, and I actually bought it, um, just, let's see, I bought it just a couple days ago, actually, I've had it for some time. The reason I have not been recording is because of work, and because I have not been having enough time, because what I've been planning is I want to do a uncut edition. An unedited, uncut edition. So everything you're watching is uncut. This will probably become a two hour video or so, three hours maybe. If I can't get through the whole game in this one episode, <laughs> if it just takes too long, I may have to do a second episode, but that is my goal is to finish it in one to two episodes. Now, I have set aside everything for this, so you should too. Make sure to Get your snacks, empty your bladders, clear your agendas, because we're going to be here for some time. All I know is Hive Swap is based off of Homestuck, a very, very amazing thing that I follow. I don't read that much as I should, which really triggers people. I know that I'm a Tavros, I don't know what my god tier is, I know I'm a brown blood, I have horns to go at the side, I get stuck in doors, I've even cosplayed Tavros with some of my other friends, and it was amazing best experience of my life. So here we are playing Hype Swap. Uh, the only thing I know about this game so far is the menu music is beautiful. I've not watched anyone play it. I know Jacksepticeye played it and I don't know if Markiplier played it. I haven't been paying that much attention to their channels for a while because I need to focus on my stuff right now. So this has amazing menu. Just look at the birds scuffling across the sides. The music that goes with it. And when I clicked options that good old arcade sound. So, let's get into this. It's been, I spent two minutes talking. That should give you enough time to go to the washroom, get your snacks. Let's do this. Oh, that sound is beautiful. I'm gonna adjust my monitor quickly. Yeah, so I'm not gonna edit any of this video. This is all, this is just all handmade. It's my, my wire's on my camera, whoops. Oh, this is awesome. my volume. Holy crap, that was loud. Your name is... Sorry, you're gonna need a minute. Okay, you gave yourself a minute to freak out because of the monster. The thing with all the legs and teeth? The one you barely got away from? Minutes up though. You take a deep breath. Let your uncertainty slip away into your toothy, arm-wiggling darkness, and focus on what you know. Your name is Joey Claire, or Clary. <clears throat> I'm gonna call I'm gonna call her Joey Claire. You live just outside of of the town of Hauntswitch. You are no you are no. God damn it! Why why is my reading failed me today? Okay. <clears throat> Your name is Joey Claire. You live just outside the town of Hauntswitch. You are, in no particular order, a puzzle solver, a semi-orphan, a dancer of multiple schools, an aspiring veteran, and a big sister. Speaking of that monster, the one you barely, the one that barely missed eating you alive, and you're not thinking about right now, it might be headed back outside where your little brother is. You gotta warn him. Okay, how do I move? Just clicking? Oh my god, I love the clicking. Okay. Uh... 
Oh, quality gameplay. Okay, it was just floating to the other side of the room. Okay, sweet. Oh. Look up. Oh, we can look out the window. Oh. Yikes, more of them. Gentrification. Wait. Gentrification? It's a real monster. Blistering social co commentary aside, you sincerely hope your brother ha Your brother aren't killed. Aren't killed? Oh my god, great. Boy! <laughs> Blistering social comedy aside, you sincerely hope your brother isn't, hasn't been killed or eaten by the eyeless horrors. Poor puppy, if that icky, snaky thing hurt her, well, you'd use your budding veterinary skills to patch her up. Vet veterinary skills to, to patch her up. And make sure it's all better. But you also be very, very angry. Right now, she doesn't seem to want to come out after her doghouse. You don't blame her. Can I, can I click this thing? It'd be nice if those monsters, if those monsters were as, were as weirded out by that weird skull fountain as you are. Unfortunately, that thing is probably a monster chick. Remember when you were raking up those leaves? Your dog knocked Jude over it? And you laughed, and everything turned to monsters. Ah, memories. You eye the bushes suspiciously, but you don't see anything else popping out of them. Yet. The sun has just set, making for a glorious autumn eve. As such, autumnal evening glo glory radiates from the heavens, kissing the clouds on its way down to earth. Can I click one of these flying dudes? Come on, come on. Nah, they're not clickable. Okay. Uh, is that everything clickable in this area? Okay, I don't want to leave anything out. <clears throat> oh, that's more than enough of that. No, no more of that tonight. We can't play games, I got a brother to save. Ooh, that's a nice necklace. <gasps> it's all gold! That little girl there? She's destined for big things. Big hopes, big fears, big worries, big lonelinesses. Oh, God. Hold on now. Pull yourself together. What would your mom say if she knew you were thinking anything like that? You really wish you knew. Since she's been gone, you've seen less of Pa over the years. Guess he had greener pastures to move on to. Or bluer beauties. <laughs> Look. You usually don't have much to record in your account of the hum humdrum life you lay. You, you lay. Lead or lay? Whatever. You lead. <laughs> but you thinks today will be a different story. Maybe you should take a moment to record it now. Just in case this is your last chance to set down your final words before your tragic demise at the hands of that horrible snaky thing. Alright. It's locked. If you wish to gain access to your long buried or recently buried secrets, you have to use the diary key. What the heck is the diary key? Ooh, the pens. <laughs> nice pens. No, okay. Uh, diary key. Your porgeous, porgeous, sorry, a lot of these words are really long and I've probably heard them many times and I just hate pronouncing things. Collection of titles for your console's hungry cartridge-shaped mouth. All the best ones are here. Well, all the ones you happen to own are here. You could spend all day listing them. There's Bubsy, there's... Mentioning Bubsy made you feel a little queasy. So you think you'll stop there? You might have to go lie down for a bit, actually. The goal of this game is to get four of your colored circles in a row before your opponent. Who's trying to do the same? If you can theoretically connect five, if you're kind of... You can, th you can also theoretically connect five if you're kind of a showy jerk. That is a lot of Rubik's Cubes! Lucas. You really get a charge out of this game. It's kind of bossy, though. <laughs> Well, sure, why not? After this, though, you should really go to the go get the walkie-talkie since you just remembered you 
cannibalize the batteries from the walkie-talkie to power this game. Oh, okay, that's enough yelling. Ha, ah, this is so much... Boo. Boo. These games are so much fun. Boo. Boo. I said boo. Boo. Oh, looks like the green button is working. Well, nostalgia satisfied. Might as well scavenge the batteries. Anything else in here? Let me look. You really like this poster, but can't really say why. It's pretty, and you like the expression on the ballerina's face. You wonder what it's like when adults go to museums look at actual art. You hope so. Let me appreciate this. I said appreciate! You give a good, hard stare. <laughs> yeah, you're appreciating the heck out of this art. It would be difficult, if not impossible, for anyone to appreciate it more. Oh god. The story keeps happening. Oh. Just look at that childlike empress. Sure, she looks pretty pleased with herself for someone who's only in the movie for about five minutes. The Bounty Hunters. Advice for dealing with monsters would probably be to... Shoot them? Or change your shape? Or both at once? She's cool, but pretty difficult to emulate. Ginger Rogers. Gosh, she's really something. The greatest tap dancer who ever clattered gracefully on across the screen. Probably? No, wait. Definitely. And still kicking. I, okay, I can kick it. Alright, screw it. This game is only available in Japan, but there's this kid at school who says his uncle works at, ga at a games company, and he's, he says he gets to play all sorts of secret games before they even come out here. He runs off out of his mouth like he's, going, like he's got all this insider information, sources inside the game companies, but honestly, you think he's just desperate for attention. You tend to ignore him and focus on more pleasant things, and s like this super cool poster. Second mom rules. What could possibly go wrong? That's what Bubsy would say if he were here. He'd never stop saying it. You hear it in your head. Forever. Echoing like screams echo across still water. Oh god. You love Block Hustle, a game filled with descending columns that appear that appear as lines are filled. But um uh, you can only find a poster in the American box art. Magical Animal Companion Heal Rescue. This is your favorite Jap, Jap animation. It's all about this girl, Chica, who goes to school sometimes and has a regular life. Boring, yeah. But whenever a magical animal has been hurt, Chica becomes a princess Chica and rides her dear companion to go heal. That's the whole thing. It's great. No fighting. Just healing. You love it. You love it! <laughs> Acorn Shadow. is surprisingly dark for a show about a group of horse friends. It canters down some troubling psychological roads. <laughs> Damn. Canadian Campfire Spookums is the best. It's about these kids who get together in the woods every week. And one of them throws out, throws some dust in a fire, and then they tell a scary story. And a scary, and a scary story is the episode. You kind of focus more on the framing narrative than you do on the stories, but whatever. It's the best, just like you said. You seem so worried. We're looking at common posters. Hot step. You, you don't really perform the styles of dance to make this movie such a pulse-pounding barn burner of a smash hit. Which is certainly like to someday. These things always seem to keep getting loud. Let me turn down to 60. Like, or like 50, 56. That's good. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh my god. This is Sir Bappy Poswater, your beloved Mathro chap. You. Wait. Manthro chap. You tend to be his fussy whims and needs. When you trouble to imagine what they might be, what a daring dream to combine the finest qualities of the animal kingdom with the nobility of human... of human... human animals. Wait, you mean humanity? 
Anyway, Sir Passwater will have to go tend to his own fussy whims he and needs for a while. You got a lot of crap on your plate right now. Alright. <laughs> Let's continue on with the story. I hope that's... There's probably so much more I can click in here. So why not? It's only 15 minutes. One day you hope to be a, a veterinarian so that you can be the one caring for fuzzy-faced baby creatures. So when someone catches you in the act of snuggling them all and tells you to take a hike, you can flash your vet badge and say you're here on professional medical business and that they'll have to... And that they'll have to take a hike, not you. Oh, same thing. Uh, same thing? Yeah, same thing. Mm. Your modem always makes a mighty racket logging in on you. Probably not worth riling up the ho any hallway snake to surf your sights right now. It's not like there's much new to see. Anyway, yeah, you're sure that Jude would have to let you know if anyone in your web ring had updated their status. Right. Let's go over here. Let's take a look. This is where you keep your clothes. You consider your fashion statement to be fun and comfortable, and try to model yourself as a Oh, crap. Let me... Ah, Clacera. She really does explain quite a few things. Except, of course, precisely where she gets her clothes and how she managed to look so great all the time. We can change our clothing? You could try some new clothes, but what's a style montage without at least a party offering compulsory reaction shots for each other? Who's gonna give the affirming head nod when you finally nail it? The important things are to consider before you carry some plunge heads on you into your style montage. Your babysitter got you this junior veterinarian med kit. It's kind of important to you, so you think you'll leave it here for now. It would really bust you up if something happened to her. Let's go save our brother. I would. Oh, more stuff. Your babysitter gave you this for your birthday. Joey, she said. This wizard, this wizard's the best. He lives in his little wizardly orb just swimming in spells and glitter. He will protect you. Look, he's doing it right now. Your babysitter loves wizard. Obviously, she's pretty great. Ooh, tissues. I wonder why. <laughs> Along with ballet, you also study tap dancing. You haven't decided what you prefer. Ballet is fun, but tap's also fun. It's also fun. In a different kind of way. You've considered blending two, wearing one tap shoe and one ballet shoe at the same time, but decided to fully master both and earn the respect of your teachers before unrivaling your boundary-shattering ballet style. You add the tap dance <clears throat> al alley tech to your technique. Yep, those are the words you referred in those concepts. You learned them literally just now. These will help you if anything you need to shake up or shake off. Or if you're just in the mood to shake it. Ooh, wait. Can we just... Yes, tap class every Saturday morning. Your babysitter usually drives you, unless, you know, she's not feeling well. It is Saturday morning. Oh, that's just... Woof, screw it. Let, let, let's, uh, let's mark it. It's the 11th of November. Actually, it's the 12th of October, but... Today started off just like any other day. With another sunrise, the sound of songbirds going hog-wild out there in the trees. Their songs have all stopped. No, no, there's something else going hog wild out there. But you know what it is? It ain't birds, and it sure the heck ain't hogs. You've already marked today. The date is part of your daily routine. If anyone claims you didn't exist on the date of November 10th, 1994, you could shove that big red X right in their face and prove them wrong. Alright. you to the door. The door to your possibly snake monster of occupied hall hallway. You really need, need to let Jude know the monster might be coming after him. Okay. Ah, there's the walkie-talkie. Yeah. Okay. Success! The walkie-talkie works like a charm now. A charm with a battery pack. Feel pretty pleased with yourself. It would seem that you just solved your first puzzle of many. And what is sure to be a sweeping adventure full of mysterious brain busters. Ah, oh, God. Then again, putting batteries in the thing isn't technically solving a puzzle, you suppose. It's just overcoming a minor inconvenience that you created yourself using mundane 
widely available modern technology. So, you don't care though. You're counting it. J Jude, are you there? Are you alright? Ooh, achievement. Over, but we just started. Yes! Been covertly stalling, signaling statues and requesting yours. Over. You mean the lantern? I don't know Morse code. Would never use such decipherable code. Over. Enemy agents everywhere. Over. Wait. Undercover. Still undercover. Via vi this of this. V via this. You're gonna. Whatever. Your condition following the enemy serpent encounter over. Please report bite status. How many and how grows over? I'm fine. I'm fine. No bites, you weirdo. But thank you for asking. It was a close one. Great. Was worried. Over. That reminds me. After I shut the door, I think I heard it clomping off back down the stairs. I don't think you should leave the trios anytime soon. It might be headed back to your way. No plans on leaving current location. Yard crawling with cryptid... Cryptid Vanguard over. Wait out there then. Cryptid Vanguard? Missing big picture, Joey. Over. Oh, maybe a little less obtuse then? Purely defensive posture, technically suicidal. Monsters likely just destruction. Could have obscured additional agents on approach over. Do you mean, like, more monsters or... Can't discuss unsecured channel. Be certain those who's listening. But evidence points to Ant Hater's class conspiracy cascade over. What? Over? Relieved you're taking this seriously. You are totally prepared to begin forward operations. No going back now, Joey. Over. I was making fun of you, Dweeb. I'm not going anywhere. Trust. Crucial on this battlefield. Trust is crucial on this battlefield, Joey. Hoping presence of monster has tipped equation away from typical skepticism. Over. Trust is for chumps. <laughs> I trust you. Okay, that's a little fair. Okay. What do I need to know? Your current position not secure. Lar large yard facing windows. Location compromised to enemy. Situation rapidly deteriorating. Must. Abs. Absom. Whatever. Absom the attic, Joey. Over. I think that just means like ascend. The attic? Yes, the attic. Strong door. Well. Excuse me. <laughs> that won't be edited out. That's gonna be in the video. <laughs> well stocked with tactical material. Take left out of the bedroom and go upstairs. Highest room in the house. Over. I know what the attic is, Jude. It was just a weird suggestion. Like, what else is new? More inscribable rambling from my treehouse lunatic brother? Don't understand! You sound confused. Trying to help. Over. Really, you're the one who sounds really confused. Learn your grammar, please. <laughs> Look, just shut up, okay? I'll sneak up there, lock the door, and you can... Call our babysitter. Too late to reach her. At lab working, day long done. Over. Oh no, you're right. Agreed on both counts. Babysitter capable striver. Could help. Could help tip scales. Also, uh, might also help convince you to get to safety. Jude, I'm going to the stupid attic, okay? I'm sorry for being mean. Do you have your weapon? Over. What weapon? You mean my old weapon? What for? Serpents swarming everywhere over. You want me to fight them with a flashlight? Don't blame... Uh, don't blame you for being nervous with a high concentration of serpent presence. Must be brave. Your brother believes in you. You know you can beat the serpents over. Stop saying serpents. Do you recall where weapon is? Over? Oh, yeah. It's in the closet. Understood. All set then. Over. No, I mean hall closet. Crap! Over. Yeah, well, 
I guess I'll have to take your word about this all. You sure this is... Or are you sure this is all right? Absolutely, extremely certain. Over. Over and out, squirt. Alright, there we go. She's smiling. She, she's feeling good about herself. Ooh, nice switch. Let's turn it on. Click. I could have done that so easily, but I didn't. <laughs> no, I meant to walk out. You don't want to leave without writing what could be your last words ever in your diary. Exciting stuff happens to you once in a green moon. Was it blue? You're too excited now to think about the moon colors now. And no, you're definitely not just stalling for excuses to avoid going out there and facing the beast. Well, we gotta find that key, don't we? Uh, the wizard, that's the easy pick up. Look. It's easy to make your very own cake. Or something like that. You you were really excited to get this for your birthday last year, but you ran out of the baking stuff pretty quick. You could use regular sugar and flour or whatever, but it's not like you have those things just sitting around. Who does? Honestly, people with moms, you guess. <laughs> can, can I bake anything? You're all out of baking stuff. You're not too busted up about it, though. You're pretty tough. You got more pressing concerns right now than the book report you had to hand in on Monday. Besides, none of these books are appropriate choices for a book report, according to your teachers. Your teachers seem oddly fixated on the award-winning books where beloved dogs are introduced to, to are in, are introduced and inevitably die. You kind of hate your teachers sometimes. Sorry, I heard something mysterious going on. All right. Uh, well, I don't know where that key would be. Hmm. Why am I yawning? It's only six o'clock. Jesus. You know what, guys? Now notice we're almost at a hundred subscribers. That's exciting. All right. That's right. It's locked, but here's the game. Bean bags are making big come are making a big comeback lately. It beats sitting on the floor, and that's all you can really ask of a bean bag. Uh, well, let's go find a key, I guess. It's probably right in plain sight, and I can't even see it. And I bet everyone's like found this. Everyone's probably found it when they were playing this. But me, why is it always me? I, I can't find things. And I always play those finding games. They should be pretty safe on the shelf, which is the point of shelves, I suppose. Ah, box? No. Books? Man, if this was a live stream, everyone could tell me where my. Tell me where the stuff is. Oh, search. And the plushy canine and... Puppy surprise is having puppies. Oh god, that's a key. Get that key. You cut the diary key from its plush hiding womb. Ugh. While you're at it, you think you should keep this beautiful heirloom of your mom, of your mom's clothes. Just a feeling deep, inexpectable, impossible to ignore feeling. Yeah, deep. <laughs> Deep, you mean like the puppies coming out of a that's a scary doll. Who would want a doll like that? Also, can someone in the comments of this video explain why most of my viewers are female? <laughs> 63%. I just find it funny. It's locked. Oh, okay. Well, mm -hmm. uh -huh. done. You unlock and open your diary. Nice. Juicy secrets. Here you come. Except they're just your boring secrets, so you don't care. Oh my god. Let's take a look. You don't have much to record here with the count of... Okay, it's just... Note of the snaky thing, okay. That's right. Uh, 
Okay, I'm sad. Okay, I felt like I was gonna sneeze. So maybe something from your past will shed, uh, will will shed some light on today's terror mysteries. Some little detail mentioned in offhand and forgotten. The key kicking off a casual cascade of connections and terminies and catastrophe of snake monsters. April 13th, 1994. Dear diary, no hum. Nothing much happened today. We try to make some new friends at school and to maybe expand our social circle beyond just me and Jude's friends all the time. Wait, is it weird to call my brother's friends my social circle? Ah, well, you know, you know what I mean, Diary. I don't have, I don't have any friends I can really call mine, so I'm trying to branch out. I guess it's better than calling them my webring. My web the kids at school are jerks, though. They called me a poser when I tried to talk to them about games I like and stuff. Between you and me, I think a bunch of these kids at school might be evil. Jeez, now I'm sounding all paranoid like my brother. They're just up to no good. I can feel like Joe. June 12, 1994. Dear Diary. Phew, first day of summer vacation. I can't wait to get a break from all those clowns at school. Sometimes I think that they... That I really need this vacation for humanity. <laughs> Joey. October 25th. Hey, that's not too far away. But 1994. Never mind, that is pretty far away. <laughs> I can't believe I haven't recorded an entry since the beginning of last summer. This is to say, I've come back to school for a while now. Next summer can't come soon enough. I came home to a drunk babysitter again today. Sure, some quality adult supervision we youngsters are getting around here. She means well enough, though. Haven't heard from Pa in weeks. Last we saw of him, he popped out of the house to drop off some more stupid mummies and globes or whatever, then skipped off to go on more adventures. What a bozo. Also, how lame it is that he made that he made us call him Pa instead of Dad while we were growing up. I miss Mom. Sad face, sad face, Joey. Aw, oh, that sucks. If this is going to be your last entry in your diary, then by gum, you're going to scare the bejesus out of whoever finds no of your snake child. November 11th, 1994. Dear Diary, forgive my hasty and nervous scribbling. I'm kind of scared, but maybe also a bit excited. Anyway, can't talk much now. There's a sly and cunning monster out on the prowl, possibly hungry for kid meat. So, I've got to... Okay, I don't have a darn clue what I have to do, but I'll fill you in later once I do it. Joey. Satisfied you've done your duty, this of this, V of V, prosperity, in the case of worst could happen, you relock your diary and hide the key again, safe and sound. Ooh. If writing a diary about tactics, if writing a diary about tactics, please share. Oh. I'm hanging up now. Not a phone. Over. Click. Dial. Tone. I can see through your window. You are making sound with mouth. Over and out. <laughs> oh man, this is awesome. I'm loving this game. Man, I should catch up on Homestuck. I really should. Give me some time to do stuff. But then again, I gotta make videos for you guys. Speaking of which, I'll let the loading screen go. I have been planning to make more videos for you guys. I don't know what I want to make. What a colorful house and sticker. Oh, I guess it is just two kids, basically. Looks like the coast is clear. For now. Better hear over to the hall closet and retrieve your weapon. What a crafty old serpent. I mean, a snake. Get the drop. Wait a minute. Is that a reference to my pet monster? Things always give me the creeps. We didn't stop you from patching up after Jude accidentally ripped it into the experimental foamless dark. Let's go through here. Oh crap. So I should get my old weapon from the hall closet and head to the attic, right? Affirmative. Also, refrain from excess chatter. Yeah, bye. Could alert monsters. Over. Yeah, I got it. I'm going. Bye. Can't be too careful in Esponge game, Joey. Silence gold. 
Judy, shut up. Remember, one time training mission could only keep my trap shut. Ooh boy, it really mad us in the pickle over. You never wanted any training by turning off the block. Block you guy. Over and I probably should. I probably should get the uh boss line. Which I'm guessing is this way, right? I'm really enjoying the music today. Oh boy! This door to your neurotic dork of a brother, maximum security bedroom. He keeps it locked up tight because of all the silly conspiracy work he does in there. You sincerely, you sincerely doubt about what well, you'll be entering this room anytime soon. But really, why would you even want to? Do, want to? It's full of nerd stink and goober crud. Not to mention, is where his pet usually lives. We love all animals, but just the same, that's one you'd rather let Jude deal with. He always keeps it locked. Even if he did manage to get in, he probably did, has traps set. Not worth trying to get the gun out of your hair again. Plus, there'd be his pet to deal with. No thanks. Okay. Open. This closet, I'm guessing, right? Oh boy! You think back before when the closet door was shut, you had a reasonably good guess about where it was inside. But now, you guess is even more reasonable. Oh, there it is. Search. It's right there. You can't search the box while it's still on that shelf. You can take it off the shelf. The box probably has the stuff you need, but you can't reach it. Hmm. Wonder what your next step should be. Next step. Actually, your tap shoes might be a good solution for this. I'm just gonna go to Don. In fact, you're gonna turn the block out of the crowd. Or use the shelf, which is. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, that's sick. Search it. He picks up the box, you find a flashlight, and an old pair of ballet stickers. He's a good guy. Oh, hey, there's some pet treats in here, too. You keep caches of these all over. Through the pen. Go ahead and try your flashlight. Click, click, no dice. Another battery problem. You open it. Wait. There were no batteries in here. Just a bunch of stupid pogs. Dang it, you. Found my old strife weapon. Guess what? It's full of your stupid pogs. Crap. I forgot about those. Please keep safe. Over. Fine. Okay, I'm not gonna take especially good care of them. Please protect Mulder at all costs. Oh, you and Mulder. So many bodies, obviously, for attack. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. I said it was going to be uncut, but all I did was go do some dishes and got some juice. So, let's get you where we were literally just a couple minutes ago. Ugh, you and Mulder. This, this scully pog is obviously where it's at. Terms acceptable. Keep them safe. She's yours. Over. So, I guess I head up to the attic now. That is the plan! Over. I better shake a light then. Affirmative. Over and out. You got your strife up in. Time to head up to the attic, right? We're taking a leap of faith with Jude on this one. He seems to at least think he knows what he's talking about. Oh, what's the thing is upstairs? You got this toy caterpillar so you could learn how to cure caterpillar diseases. But it turns out only plush caterpillars don't get sick. Still pretty cute though. Befriend. The caterpillar can't help you, and you can't help the caterpillar. Not a productive friendship. 
But at least nobody's getting taken advantage of. You're you're loath to touch it and disturb whatever I, I astronomically in humble equilibrium is at play. Best just leave it be. Yeah, how it's like staying at the top. A bunch of stuff has to be moved into the attic. There's some toys here too that you don't play with as much anymore. Basically a pile of useless trash. Trash. On the rare occasion he's at home, Paul can be heard bumping around up here while he's tending to the horde of stupid antique trash or priceless artifacts, you mean. No, you don't. It's locked. But you need to get in here as soon as you can. You peer through the keyhole. Is that the thing? Weird. What the heck is that thing? And how long has it been there? Hey, the attic door's locked. Cripes, forgot about that. Tactical blunder on my part, over. It's fine, no big deal. Just left the safety of my room to eat my monsters with Holly because the dorky brother sent me to the safety of the wrong side of the locked door. It's not. It is not fine, over. Dude! Panic not necessary. Still need to get you two at it. For safety, right? Well, whatever. I'm trusting you, I agree. Appreciate that. Oh. Although so far it hasn't really paid off. Joey, please. Just need you to head to the trophy room. Oh, oh gross. I hate that place. Why does he even need a special trophy room when our whole house is just his dumping ground for whatever garbage he picks up on his stupid adventures? We'll find a key to Attic there. Mysterious whims of absent father not relevant. Over. Fine. Over and out. So, head to the trophy room? Affirmative. Over. Got it. Over and out. Downstairs we go. My best guess is trophy room is this way. Just, just on a whim, just taking a guess. Okay. Uh, wait. That's where that was. Stuff's in front of so it must be down here. Loving these camera angles. Reminds me of Resident Evil a lot. Although, that is something that sucks in some games is the, is the locked camera angles. And where I can't really see much, so I'm like reduced to like three steps at a time. This is a really nice house. Oh my god, those blunderbusses are amazing. Oh god, I went to click down. It seems the power is out. That should make the trophy room quite the adventure, which is to say, not quite the adventure you wish you were having right now. Well, it would seem the power's out. Classic PSYOPs. Over. What? Credit where it's due. Best way to disabilize con countermeasures. Leave you in the dark. Literally. Over. Not literally. It's still, like, late afternoon. I can see fine. Should have no troubles getting to trophy room, then. Over. Fine, then, Mr. Mission Control. Yes, great. Over and out. Gah. Look at that mask. There's an arrow in the piano. Through a bunch of clothes. That is a really realistic looking carpet, and it makes me upset that it is in this kind of style. Oh well. That's probably the trophy room. Whee! Whoa! Straight down the hallway. Wait, no. Trophy room was this way. It's hard to remember where the. Whoa! Steven Universe? <laughs> oh. The ladies in the paintings are, are eerily beautiful, although. Maybe everyone should look that way, would look like that in blue. The lamp, goodness. You'd like to meet the lady who modeled it for 
Umalo lit for some. That's an awkward lamp. The little monster is watching me. What? 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 Oh, that was his mouth, not his eye. I forgot about that. They don't have eyes. Oh. This lamp makes you blush brighter than the lamp itself. Oh my. How intriguing. <laughs> uh. Oh, this is the kitchen. Why is the radio on? The sound you've heard since you entered the kitchen grows louder as you approach. You turn off the radio. It's off, and it will stay that way. Rumbo! Your babysitter has just really atrocious taste. You're only 14, and you can even tell this is just really crummy. Probably. I mean, I'm not an alcohol expert or anything. What the hell is, is like my nose weirdly itchy in this one area? Am I bleeding? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm off topic. Look. This mummy is currently blocking your access to the rest of the house. He's been there ever since your pa left him here months ago. Yeah, n not a lot of chance of you being able to move Pharaoh Napoleon over here. Okay. I am loving the art style still. It's pretty cool. Okay, let's go this way. Ah, that's cute. Whoa. You always enjoyed this painting, partially because the lion looks so alive. Whoever painted it must have a very good imagination. Either that or they painted it very, very fast. The teddy bear outpatient clinic for stuff is for stuffed animals who require treatment, but not an overnight stay. It's just for stuff it's not just for stuffed bears, of course. It was named for its founder, Chief Physician Azalir <laughs> Oh god, please don't tell me my turtles trying to escape. Oh my god, Jesus. Hey, 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 back in your tank. Back in your tank. <laughs> oh my goodness, my turtle was trying to get out. Arzalia teddy bear. Right, books. books. Okay. Whoa! Whoa, did anyone else see that? Well, I mean, it's not live, sorry. Woo! Creepiness. Boy, your pa really gets intensive with his taxidermy, huh? What a ghoul. Trophy room? Oh my god! Something straight out of amnesia! This room is really giving you the creeps. You hear something... breathing. Let me turn my volume, guys. I need to hear this. Oh, that sound! Ooh. So, let's walk. You're gonna need some D cell batteries if you want this flashlight to serve any purpose. Other than the emergency pog storage container, which is very poorly and a very poorly designed paperweight. Can I just like. You don't know what might be lurking in the dark. If there is something, like say, that horrible thing that chased you all the way to the door to your room, you don't want to alligate it with your flav frivolous tapping. Okay, I got better turn on my volume down again. Give me a moment, guys. I need to go into the menu so I can adjust the volume. Oh, crap. Anyway, I can't see anything in the trophy room. It's way too dark. Odd. The rest of the house navigatable, over. Considerable... Consider utilizing flashlight, over. You mean the one you fill with your pogs? That flashlight? Joey, please. Over. No use dwelling on past. Over. 
It doesn't matter anyway. Something is blocking the door to the trophy room now. Something? Over? Yeah, I'm not sure what. Strange. For now, I recommend focus on restoring power before sunset's completely over. Oh, geez, you're right. Okay. I'll do that. Thanks for the reminder. Need electricity to revive key to retrieve key anyway. Revive the key. Oh, but that doesn't work. Retrieve key anyway. Over. What? Can't discuss over unsecured channel. Over and out. God, he is weird. Okay. Uh, okay, there we go. Fix it. Oh my god. Oh. What is going on here? This piece was too depressing. So you gave it a nice refinishing. If your paw has a problem with it, he's welcome to say so the next time he's actually around. Hmm. You wonder if you'll be if you'll be driving by then to college? Where you teach because you're an adult and twenty years have passed? Oh jeez. He doesn't seem to be around that much. A beanbag chair, super comfy and thankfully not filled with real beans. This could you could take a nap, but you've kinda got a lot going on right now, you know. Restoring power to the house. This bookshelf contains several pause books, including Pistols to Pelts, How to Turn Sweet, Intelligent Animals into Weird Rugs and Stuff, Teach Yourself Taxidermy, I guess, and Safari Stories of Bold Men and the Animals They Killed from a Distance, even though they weren't hungry and did not intend to eat them. Any hot tips for getting the power back on? Power Arch seems to be grant seems to grant invaders significant advantage. That's not really a tip. It's more like just an explanation for why I'm trying to do it. Not sure what to tell you. Oh, excuse me. Circuit breaker probably in the basement. Over. See, that was very helpful. Thanks. Doing my best. Over and out. And I'm guessing that's through the kitchen past Mr. Napoleon Mummy? Yeah, that's my thought. Ow! My finger got stuck in my hair. What do you mean? Why? I showered this morning. I guess it has been a whole day. I'm rambling. Great. <laughs> okay. Your sweet, loyal dog loves that flap. Jude used to like it too when he was younger. He still likes it. <laughs> Ooh, Chinese. I like Chinese food. Look, you're not saying you never have home cooked meals. Your babysitter's pretty good chef, even. It's just, well, none of you like doing dishes. And the nice thing about takeout is that you can just eat it right out of the boxes and throw the boxes away. Of course, none of you really like taking out the trash, either. Oh my god, they're those kind of really lazy. The tube highway that Jude's pet uses to get around the house. You haven't seen it tonight, fortunately. How does it crawl up that? Okay, we need to move this somehow. Yeah, okay, wait, maybe this is the door right here. With the power out, you're gonna need some kind of light source before setting foot down this broken neck trap. Get. What is this? I don't even know what it is. Spicy. Wait. Okay. Magic spice mix. Of course, everyone knows there's not. There's no such thing as magic. It's all like chemicals and stuff. Still, those chemicals are delicious. <laughs> Yeah, let's look in the fridge. Look. You visualize all the delicious items that could be in the cool embrace of the refrigerator. But or not. Let's take a snack. 
It's empty. Food shopping has become sporadic of late. Turns our tipsy babysitter are fairly bad at responsibilities. Okay, diesel batteries. Okay. Let's go find some batteries. Where can we find some batteries? The doctor is out. <laughs> That's like Charlie Brown reference there. Probably not, but I like to think so. Wait, this might have batteries. Salvage! Dead batteries, of course. Seems to be running a theme. Damn it. Wait, 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 wait. What about this? Scavenge! You pop open this behemoth. Score! You pocket the E cell batteries right into the old cylinder. Wait, but these go in the flashlight? I know we need D cell, but. These batteries are so huge they don't even begin to fit. Like fitting a round peg into a round hole that's a bit smaller than the peg. You need some D cell batteries. You need to put some D in these. Oh, wait, I think I just saw another item. Uh, there's the big screen. Got a cable hookup and everything. It's your home altar, your method of worship in this listless vegetation. The gods reward you with a glimpse of the divine. Clarissa, Alex Mack, and the cool green lady from Reboot. You were like her. She's... Yeah, she's cool. Sorry for the awkward hair flipping. I need to cut my hair so badly. Maybe we'll have to make like a vote poll and see who wants me to cut my hair and who wants me to keep it long. <laughs> I actually be afraid to do that because I, I'm afraid that too many people would vote for me to keep my hair long. I kind of like shorter hair than me. Maybe I'll make a vote poll. I don't know. Open? Wait, it's locked, right? So. No way, your mom left it to you, and Jude probably wouldn't even care about it, because it doesn't have anything to do with aliens. Okay. What else uses batteries? Back to my room, or like, not my room, her room. Oh well, I mean, I'm referring to her as me right now, because she's my character. Um, anything that uses batteries? No. Nothing with the bold outlining that makes it look like it's an actual item within the game that can be used. That's what I noticed. Everything else is dully outlined. But once it's got a black outline, it can be used. Clicked. Wait, gotta turn on the lights so I can see things. Click! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, she's so sad now. <laughs> Oops! Where can we get some batteries? Some batteries. Some D cell batteries. Maybe from this? No. Come on, I don't want to end an episode. It's only been an hour. I don't want to end the episode of me not being able to find batteries. I want to find batteries and I'm going to continue. Wait, clickable. Oh, it's a poster. Okay. Um. You do a few a few steps from twirling and Merlin. Your thus far unfinished showcase of wizard themed dancing. This is only the Pyromancer's hot step. You love showing your puppy surprise or a razzle dazzle as she doesn't say anything, but you can tell she's pretty floored. They don't give ballet trophies for tap dancing, but if they did, you might just win one of these yourself someday. Or maybe you'll win for your ballet. 
You decide to dream big. Uh oh. Yes, tap classes every bump they are. Nice. You do a few steps from tw for twirl and mercury. Thus on far our finished showcase of wisdom theme dancing. That was the sorcerer's sizzle. They're a very appreciative audience. As always, surprisingly, no one fell off the shelf this time. Okay, so nothing for batteries in here, and I'm out of juice. Dang it. Where's the batteries? Just give it a stretch. Okay. Wait, this thing. Light? L-I-T-E, like Coca-Cola light. Whoa, it changes, that's cool. I remember these things, I used to have one of these things, they were so cool. They had the black paper on it that you put on and you poke all the pieces through, and then the light would come through and it'd be different colors. Yeah, that was pretty badass. This lamp's not even plugged in, but there are at least nine possible light sources in your immediate area. So maybe you get lost in a typical well-illuminated shuffle. Search. Nothing useful left in here. But the actual closet itself. Okay. Ah, use. You scrounge some ammo. You don't use guns, so you won't. Ah, uh, I probably click all these pictures. Hey, let's do it. Some great photos and portraits of your most great family. We just have to take a closer look. Oh, nice. Ugh, you can't even look at this picture. You deplore cruelty to animals. This is one of the many ways you find your father... You and your father never saw eye to eye. One of the other ways is how we never actually looked at you much. Let alone at your eyes. P.A. You used to be great with animals. No wonder what happened. You wonder what happened. Maybe. A betrayal? No. Impossible. Look at how good that dog is. That dog never be betrayed anybody his entire life. You wouldn't stake your entire reputation on it. The whole thing. You and Jude have a lot of fun memories with your babysitter by now. Probably more than with your mom and pa combined. You'd always thought of her as a kind of cool and fun older kid you wanted to be. I think you got old enough to realize she's a pretty sucky role model. We wonder how her family is like. It's probably not the place to ask. Not your place to ask. Pa and... Oh my god, when I said P-A... <laughs> pa and someone you presume is his sister. Nobody's ever mentioned, not that the two of you talk much. Kind of weird to think that you might have a second cousin out there you never met. Maybe she died young. The old-timey times were pretty rough. You and your very good dog. Aww. Ooh la la. That's their mom is looking tres magnifique. When you grow up, you hope that this is what mirrors will look like. A lovely diptrite of school portraits. The laser background, uh, the laser background, the bad hair days, simply perfection. Haha, <laughs> Jude puts the, di the dip in dip tripe, you mutter to yourself. Such an unreal burn, but unsuspecting chunk. But maybe he wouldn't even get it, come to think of it. Maybe neither do you. There aren't any pictures of the three of you together, so you had to make one. Though the art of composition by hanging these three solo photos together, it's kind of like a photo of all three. Sort of. There are, oh yeah, okay. We did it all. Good photos. I think like the only photo I have is like a steampunk airship. This guy? What's he so happy about, anyway? His expression probably made more sense in its original context. 
That is to say, whatever tomb or temple or whatever your paw plunged him. What is it? I want to walk over to it. Oh. <laughs> it's Aztec. Looks Aztec. I love Aztec stuff. It's so cool. Okay. Um, anything else? Let's look around for other small things to scavenge. Yeah, see, I think I scavenged this. Heft remote. A universal remote definitely sounds like something that would be useful on your adventure, except the power is out. Universal is probably disappointingly misleading, and who said you were on an adventure anyway? So far, you haven't even left your house. Well, thanks for reminding me that I haven't left the house yet. Sorry, just scratching. Okay. Oh, um, didn't mean to go there, but okay. Wait, maybe there's something in the kitchen. Or something on this side. You know, just bookshelves. These used to be stacked neatly on the shelves, but your big dog came clambering through and slammed right into them. They tumbled everywhere. That was about three years ago. You want great housekeepers. Okay. Uh, the radio! Maybe we can scavenge parts in the radio. Pop open! You open the battery compartment! Yes! Jackpot! Two D cells! You can never have too many batteries, and never in too many different sizes either. Ah, crap, which ones are which? Another electronic device successfully powered through clever manipulation of resources in your e immediate environment. You are on fire! With your flashlight fully functional and fit fighting form, you feel significantly better equipped to handle most low light environments and also beat the bejesus out of any, any of those creeps that get too close. Although, a last resort, of course. All right, to the basement! Trippy music. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to make this two episodes long. If I, if I really have to, I may even have to make it three, and that will suck. All neat and full. <laughs> just kidding. It's obviously dirty. <laughs> My kind of jokes. Ugh. Ooh, boxes. Look. With your paw's strange affinity towards the Betty Crocker room. For any of my friends out there who play Cards Against Humanity with me, Betty Crocker. Ever apparent, the musty old junk man that consists of all sorts of cooking implements ranging from the familiar to the ingomatic. Really now, you can tell what a whisk is for, but some of this stuff looks downright unethical. It's also in your way. I can't reach the circuit breaker. Let's move this jump box. Try to move one box. The whole pile is liable to come tumbling down. You need to find some way to get them all moving at once. Shake them up somehow. Show a tumble. That's the ticket. Oh, crap! This is... Clear away the boxes with the fancy floor. Now just get the breaker or tug or whatever. You flip the breaker and. Ah, crap. Okay, never mind. I thought the lights went off. Oh boy. It doesn't seem to be working. You were even more creeped out than you already were, which was severely. Oh, Jesus! It's gonna be like some Undertale fight scene stuff? This music. <laughs> oh, God. It's breaking. It's not responding. What? No! 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 Please! Don't do this to me! Okay, there we go. Where's my mouse? 
You got no chance beating this thing. You've got to get away. Step on it. Um, I, I don't know how this white stuff works. Um, do I use arrow keys? Um, wait. Um. Um. Say quickly. One. Okay, um. You gotta get away. Step on it. Oh wait, it's next. Embrace treaty. Ow. Um. <laughs> Spices. Oops. Dad. The room's where. I got some batteries in you. Hot step. Ooh. Yes, okay, I'm learning this. I'm learning. Boop. Step up. Power back on. You doing... You're doing or psyops? Of encroaching forces. Give you back light only to snatch it away. Describe hy hypo... theatrical very cruel. Dealing with sick operators. No, just me. Right. <laughs> Criminy! That snake monster was down in the basement, by the way. Imagine you get past them. We'll probably need to deal with that at some point. Second encounter with said serpent, correct? Beast Willy. But sister already established superior wellness, actually. Hey, thanks. I think. Trophy room should be trivial obstacle over. Wait, what? Add a key, Joey. Eyes in the prize. Keep me in a loop over and out. Why can't I just go to the treehouse? We know the snake's in the basement. Why can't I just go straight to the bank? Those little guys look so easy. I can beat the crap out of them with a the flashlight. Wow, now we're in 13 minutes. It's going to take a long time to upload, guys. So, this probably is not going to be out the day I'm recording. It's probably going to be out tomorrow. Oh! Ugh. It's got tiny feet! It's got tiny leg arms! <laughs> okay. Let's bash it with my flashlight. Light on your feet! Light bite. Ooh. Better luck next time. Throw some spices at him. He's, he's got a huge mouth. Spice him. Ow. Ugh. Maybe I can hit him now. Everything's got a weak. Okay, 
okay, yeah. Okay, that was not good, yeah. What about treat? Choose your battle. Oh, the memes. Um, no, 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 no. Can I hit you now? Fight, fight. Right. Monster inflicted death scene averted. You are unbelievably stressed out right now. Congratulations. You've as you've ascended to rung two. Attained rank of tail wagging Tyro. Max HP increased by twelve. Muscle increased by seven. Rung you've ascended to rung three. Attained by rank. Uh, dexterity you're involved with trap so much stuff. Attained rank of heavy. Oh my. Noggin Bob. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Your paws love the globes have no, no bound, but you don't recognize any of the continents on this one. You have a better idea what we're looking at is if you can read these scribbly labels, all you can make out of the sense is the X mark. Can indicate treasure? I like okay. So, where is this key? In his desk or something? Would never leave critical items such an obvious location over. Okay, but, like, where did you leave? I just had to lure a hungry monster over here with some treats, and I'm not sure how much time I have for another sister conspiracy cappers before it comes back. If room compromise can't discuss countermeasures to over obscure. Unsecured line. Utilize Puzzler Skillist. Over. Ugh, fine. Call back if a scissors is required. It stopped at 11-11. I wish that no one's wishes could come true. <laughs> and it's been as long as you remember. You could fix it, but why bother? It's not like you're gonna make the habit of strolling over to the worst from your house to check the time. As if being dead weren't bad enough, we call replace his eyes with some creepy glass orbs. The light refracts in their fessed and stare gives you the creeps. But, are you crazy or is this or is there some light reflecting off his amber too? Maybe it bears closer examination. Pull. Oh. Wow, that's sure is some dude! I can make heads or tails out of this thing. What thing? Over. I turn on a laser, but that's it. Nothing else is happening. Thought you were a puzzle master. What's wrong? It was wrong, it seems. Over. Hold on, over. I believe this calls for birds. Mick Rough Crime Dog experiences trouble unbelievably, over? Wait. Disregard previous burn. Superior burn formulated. Ace Vangera Pet Detective. Please respond if ice required. Pretty good burn. Hey, that's a pretty good burn. That was solid. You nailed me. Forgive if boundary overstep. I've been a formality. Contentious banter. Cornerstone if squad can be over. Yeah, it's fine anyway. How am I supposed to solve this thing? It's clearly a puzzle thing that cries out to be solved. Use marbles. Over. I'm thinking as hard as I can. I know I like puzzles, but I wouldn't be asking you if it were an emergency. Actual marbles, over. What are you talking about? Trivial, really, over. What marbles? I don't have any marbles. You don't? None nearby, over? No. Oops, over. What's happening? I can't wait. Um, guys, I'll be getting my... Oh. You are now Jude Har- Oh, wow! I'm Jude now, that's awesome! 
<laughs> Achievement unlocked. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you. Oh, crap. And tonight, apparently, is the night you've been preparing for. Lame. So many progressions and countermeasures and countermeasure measures. Oh, yeah, and counter countermeasures against. It would seem that you've a rare tech. Tactical blunter. The marbles that Joey needs to dis your strategic defense globe are here in your treehouse. Time to call the lone gunbirds. When the heat is on from the government and you need to send encrypted messages while staying off the grid, you entrust it to one of your trained carrier pigeons, the lone gunbirds. You survey the troops, there's Langley, Byers, and of course, Frohike. He's your favorite. Dear sweet Frohite, how you adore him. The cherish, the wind, he flaps. I'm, I'm gonna sound like a little bit of a nerd right now. I actually check. Don't move. You retrieve the cache of flares you were keeping in your metal chest to mine with your flare gun. They're a tactical treasure. There's my, there's my flare gun. The chamber is empty. Breath held, hand steady, you carefully load the flares into the flare gun. There's no going back now. The genie is out of the bottle. I'm loving this music. Only these few are actually liquid. And unfortunately, those are also the ones whose contents don't precisely exactly 100% remember with total certainty. You're not saying none of them are urine, but you're not saying none of them... Wait, you're not saying some of them are urine, but you're not saying that... None of them are urine. Oh. You keep smashing geodes in case they're secretly alien eggs. And if one is, well, you already have the hammer in your hand, won't you? Might be time to scan the airwaves again. See if you can pick up any chatter from the end. You turn on the radio. You've heard enough. It's not of that weird signal for now. Forever, really. For careful records of the activity of your mysterious figures, you often see prowling around in the woods. Joey didn't buy it. His sudden influx of monsters may have changed their stance. Oh, wow. Look at that nice empty pouch. You sure can put some stuff in that pouch. Nice marble. You add a blue marble to the pouch. You add a yellow marble to the pouch. Yeah. A carrier pigeon couldn't possibly carry that much weight. Better stick with two marbles. Wait, those weren't the right marble colors. On second thought, doesn't feel right. Don't you ever see a diagram probably displayed somewhere to help you with this exact problem? Haha! <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, I'm looking for the marble diagram. Red and green. Green. Red. Hey, coach. You take the pouch of red and green marbles. Wow. You no! Know, this makes me jealous. I really wish I had a little pouch like this for this color of marbles and stuff. <laughs> In real life now. Oh, he looks so sad now. Go! 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 I catch the ground and... Oh, man! No! 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 There she blows, Harley Manor. Maybe only half of Harley Manor since Joey disowned the name in favor of your mother. Look at these monsters. No eyes, no weapons, only the most rudimentary and squad-based tactical maneuver. There's only a diversity faint and it's an expendable vanguard if you've ever seen one. 
Sorry the hold up. Unbelievable tragic disaster over! Did you lose something else? Must soldier I'm making second attempt! Now over! Uh alright. Are you are you sure you're over? Over and out! For height! For height! Aww! These poor pigeons! Go back to this guy! Take another pouch from the drawer, look another red and another green marble. Oh man, don't tell me these pigeons are going to keep dying. Oh, <laughs> he's so mad. Are you all right? Betrayal over abandonment over the lowest, vilest coward, cowardice over. Um, well, can't even communicate true degree of outrage over likely to jeopardize mission if. if Emotion not surprised, suppressed, over. Uh, incoming, over and out. Your hands are definitely not shaking as you pluck two more marbles from your safe, cozy compartments in the drawer, while dropping into the depths of the pouch, waiting for the green wall. Oh no! He's like, praise, please! Okay. Am I now the pigeon? <laughs> He's so happy. <laughs> Third time's the charm, achievement unlocked. Success! Jesus Crow Byers, my boy, so brave, so true, so great. Over. Are you actually just point blank losing your mind now? It would be that kind of relief after years of build up. Now you've. You could have picked a better night for it. Mission accomplished! Buyer's champion of champions waiting for you in kitchen! Over! Why? Over? Oh, Byer says marbles are required to require the key. Over. Alright, I guess that sort of makes sense. New development, Byer's being. Menace, please hurry. What? Uh, okay, I, I, I'm on it. Hurry, please, Joey. He's all I have left. Over and out. Yeah, the other two. One died and one abandoned him. This is just. A... I think that flight with the weakness is gonna be the spice.
Wait, can I hit him with the spice now? Nice! Oh, I killed it! Thank. Damn. Hope it's dead. Befriend. I do not have like that. Oddly enough, you aren't sure if these are safe for birds after the violent strangle of death that haunts them. You're a little nervous about just feeding these things. Random, maybe there's something a little safer on here. Bread? Red light? Oh wait, dog. We're even not a dog food. Retrospectively, the worst possible time. Look, okay, yeah. Joey, thank you for a tactically brilliant season in this murder. Fought, yeah, yars and halo. Repeat, fires as halo. Um, thanks. You know how I might get him down? He seems pretty terrified. Negative virus entity has an unfortunate mercenary strain. Should respond to excitement over. How do you drive a pigeon? Sounds like the setup for a riddle, perhaps. Joke! Bye, Jude. Over and out. If you run down the battery, you have no idea where you get more. There's even when you really need it. Uh, nothing. You guys see what you do? You saw a fair bit of your fancy footwork when you're doing the bumps. Why are you yawning? No response to that, or he was completely entrapped by your elegance and grace. You prefer to believe the latter, but it doesn't really solve your problem. You need to tempt this little fellow with something bad, something like garbage. Food. I'm not sure why the trash is piled next to the fridge. Even animals are better love No, no way, no way. You did the last time. It's dude's turn now. You know that after he completely ditched you for three hours earlier. Maybe it could be June's turn for quite some time. The sink is full of dirty dishes. Someone should clean these up. Or just exit the game like so. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. I'll see you. Ah.
I almost ended it right there by accident. Okay, thank you all for watching. Make sure to take a break, pause your life, play a game. If you really like this series and want to see more, just obliterate that like button. Button, smash it with your toe. I'd love to see that. Leave comments for stuff like if you want to compliment and see if I should keep my hair or cut it. I don't care. Uh, just compliment, compliment the letter Q for all I care. <laughs> I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.